Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn Civil Engineering Classroom. In this video, we are going to discuss how to convert an angle in whole circle bearing to reduced bearing. First of all, using meridians, the quadrants are divided into four in clockwise direction. Here, in clockwise direction, the zero corresponds to north, the east corresponds to 90 degree, south correspond to 180 degree and the west correspond to 270 degree. Again on completing one full circle, the north correspond to 360 degree. Now let us see what is whole circle bearing and reduced bearing. In whole circle bearing system, an angle is measured to a line in clockwise direction only from the magnetic north. So, if the line is laid in any of the four quadrant, the angle should be measured from the magnetic north only in clockwise direction towards the line. The angle in whole circle bearing may vary from 0 to 360 degree. In quadrantal bearing system, an angle is measured from magnetic north or magnetic south, whichever is nearer. The angle is me measured from north or south, whichever is nearer, in clockwise or anticlockwise direction. That is, if a line is laid in the first and fourth quadrant, the angle is measured from the north because the north is much nearer to the line in the first and the fourth quadrant than the south. If a line is laid in the second and third quadrant, the angle is measured from the south only since the angle since the line is more nearer to the south than the north hence in quadrantal bearing system the angle is varied from 0 to 90 degree only and hence the quadrant should be specified that is if a line is laid in the first quadrant the quadrant should be specified as north East. If the line is in the second quadrant, the quadrant should be specified as south, east, etc. So, in this figure, we can see that in the first quadrant, if a line is laid in the first quadrant, the whole circle bearing is measured from the magnetic north in clockwise direction only. And again, the quadrantal bearing in quadrantal bearing system, if a line is laid in the first quadrant, the angle is measured from the north because the line is more nearer to the north. Hence, in the first quadrant, the whole circle bearing and quadrantal bearing angles are same for the first quadrant. Now, let's see the second quadrant. In second quadrant, for whole circle bearing, the angle is measured from the magnetic north in clockwise direction towards the line in the second quadrant. But in case of quadrantal bearing, or the reduced bearing, the angle is measured from the south since the line is more nearer to the south, hence angle is measured in the anticlockwise direction. If a whole circle bearing is measured in the second quadrant, to convert the whole circle bearing into quadrantal bearing system, the quadrantal bearing is equal to 180 degree minus whole circle bearing. In the third quadrant, the whole circle bearing is measured from magnetic north in clockwise direction towards the line and the quadrantal bearing is measured from the magnetic south because the line is more nearer to the south if it is in the third quadrant. Hence, we can convert the whole circle bearing into quadrantal bearing by quadrantal bearing is equal to whole circle bearing minus 180 degree. In case of the fourth quadrant, for whole circle bearing, the angle is measured from magnetic north in clockwise direction towards the line in the fourth quadrant. In quadrantal bearing, the angle is measured from the magnetic north in anticlockwise direction. Hence, to convert the whole circle bearing into quadrantal bearing, the quadrantal bearing is equal to 360 minus whole circle bearing if the line is in the fourth quadrant. Now, let's see how we can convert a whole circle bearing of 320 degree 30 minutes into quadrantal bearing or reduced bearing. 
first of all let's draw a figure here we have four quadrants one two three and four now the 320 degree 30 minutes angle will comes in the fourth quadrant hence I draw a line in the fourth quadrant the angle 320 degree 30 minutes is the whole circle bearing that means the angle is measured from the magnetic north in clockwise direction towards the line so this angle is 320 degree or this is the whole circle bearing now we need to convert this angle 320 degree 30 minutes into quadrantal bearing now what is quadrantal bearing quadrantal bearing means the angle which is measured from the north or south whichever is nearer to the line now if the line is in the fourth quadrant the line is more nearer to the north hence the quadrantal bearing is measured from the north in anti-clockwise direction to the line okay now we need to find this angle or we need to designate in the quadrantal bearing system so let's do the calculations now the line is located in the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant hence the quadrantal bearing is equal to 360 degree minus the whole circle bearing the 360 degree minus whole circle bearing uh, this equation is comes if only the uh, the line is located in the fourth quadrant now which is equal to 360 degree minus the whole circle bearing here is 320 degree 30 minutes so this is equal to 39 degree 30 minutes so hence we get the quadrantal bearing angle as 39 degree now we get the angle 39 degree 30 minutes uh, but for a quadrantal bearing we need to specify its quadrant hence it is designated as the 39 degree 30 minutes comes in the fourth quadrant hence it is in the northwest quadrant so we designate it as north 39 degree 30 minutes west so this is how the problem is solved now let's see how we can convert a quadrantal bearing into the whole circle bearing hence here gives an example the quadrantal bearing is south 45 degree 20 minutes east we need to convert this angle into whole circle bearing so first of all we can draw a figure now the given quadrantal bearing is south 45 degree 20 minutes east hence it is in the southeast quadrant that is the second quadrant south east quadrant hence we can draw a line here in the second quadrant and the angle is given as 45 degree 20 minutes the angle 45 degree 20 minutes means the quadrantal bearing is measured from the south hence this angle is the quadrantal bearing now we need to convert this quadrantal bearing into whole circle bearing that means the whole circle bearing is measured from the magnetic north in clockwise direction towards the line hence let's see how we can solve this problem since the given angle the quadrantal bearing is in the second quadrant here the whole circle bearing is equal to 180 degree minus the quadrantal bearing so which is equal to 
180 degree minus the quadrantal bearing given here is 45 degree 20 minutes so which is equal to 134 degree 40 minutes the answer here is 134 degree 40 minutes so by now this you can solve this problem so easy